Hey, what's going on? We are back out here at Cedar Point on Memorial Day. It's gonna be fun. Here we go. Alright, so check it out. I went over and played the guessing game. The good news is, I won this bear. Cedar Point 150 years. Pretty awesome. I'm happy I won it. But the guy over there at the guessing game guessed that I was 48. What? 48, that's unreal. So either I look way older than I am, or he's really bad at guessing. He asked my wife, well, where'd he get all those wrinkles from? Really? Okay. At least he got the bear. Snake River Expedition is finally open and we are currently in line. As you can see, there is a little bit of a wait. Full queue inside the building. Justin. Justin, Captain. Justin. Are you excited? Yeah. What else are we going to say? Yeah. Thank you, Captain. Get on the boat. Yeah. Get on the boat. 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 Get peaceful cruise along the river, looking at all the animals and such, but that ain't the way it's gonna be now, folks. You see, I work for Trapper Dan. He owns this whole operation. And lately, we've been having some big trouble. A bunch of outlaws are on that island across the way, and them no good skunks keep stealing from Trapper Dan. But all that's gonna change today with your help now, folks. All right. Now, I gotta pass you off to one of my friends, cause uh, we stay out here flapping our yaps for too long. Y'all ain't gonna make it out alive. If them outlaws don't get you, the snake sure will, sweetheart. All right, just act natural. You go there. What's the password? We ain't got time for no password. Oh, you ain't got time for a password. I like it. I ain't got time for it. Oh, he's always gotta be so dramatic. Slithering like snake skin. Come on, Go on in, folks. folks. Come on in, hurry. Yeah, I'm not trying to room. I promise I don't bite too hard. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Well, uh, my name is Alabaster, and they call me that because I'm a real catch. <laughs> but anyways, folks, y'all probably heard that today's uh, trip is going to be a little bit different than what you expected, but I got to warn you. There might be some outlaws. There might be some gunplay, and if you're real unlucky, you might even run into the basilisk, king of all serpents. It is a real big snake, y'all. You do not want to meet him out here. I'll tell you that. Now, 
We gotta let Trapper Dan get the ball down the river, so here's how it's gonna work. Y'all are right here, and y'all are gonna be smuggling some very special breaks all the way down. Folks, thank you very much. What an attentive crowd. Now, uh, Cheddar, where are you at? That's you. Who are you here with, Cheddar? I want Swiss. Where's Swiss? There you go, Swiss. You can see right here in the front. This right here is Trapper Dan's bowl. So, y'all, make a little room, Cheddar. There we go. And you're right here, Buster. I'm gonna call you Pepper Jack, okay? <laughs> now, uh, that right there is Chopper Dan's Gold, so it's very important that we keep a hold of that while we're going down river until we get to John's Landing, okay? Just listen to the deck hand whenever we get there, they'll tell you what to do next. You and your family are gonna go out first. The rest of are gonna be what we call extendable cargo. Good, good, good. How's y'all's days been? Good. Yeah? How about that? And, uh, oh, uh, Partner, uh, do you know what that is you're carrying? Go, um, I'm afraid not. Here, uh, let me hold on to that real quick. I'm going to make a quick demonstration. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, now, folks, uh, this right here, um, this is not gold. This right here is a bag of dynamite. I don't know what that numb skull in there was thinking, you know, mislabeling the bags. But this red tie right here, that indicates boom, boom. You know what I mean? Get your hands out together. But, uh... Yeah, you do not want to play with this like it's a bag of licorice. I'm going to go in places right there before we all blow up the kingdom come. Look at the right. Now, as for you, darling, you did an excellent job right there. Now, that actually is a bag of gold, you hear? All right, now, uh, on our way to Jones Landing, you're going to hold on real tight to that, you see? All right. And the outlaws catch a win of us, they never going to suspect you of all people got the gold. Now, this is for insurance. Give me your best. I ain't got no gold face. Let's give her a round of applause, folks. What do you think of that, Captain? I thought it was excellent. That's what I've seen all day. I agree. All right, Captain, go ahead and take it away, please. All righty, y'all. Since you have now found your seats, go ahead and stay seated. Hold on until the boat comes to a complete stop and face forward with your head and your shoulders against the seat back at all times. Secure all your loose articles as we are not responsible for anything that falls off the boat and in the Snake River. Reminder that food, beverages, and smoking are not permitted on this ride. Thank you all so much and have a great expedition. Thank you, Captain. Thank you very much. Alrighty, folks. My name is Jack Hammer, and I want to welcome you aboard our passage across the infamous Snake River, home of majestic wildlife, gun-toting outlaws, and, if you believe the legend, the bassist, the king of all serpents. Now, much of the area beyond the river's banks is still yet to be explored, but who knows? If you survive until the end, you might even choose to call a boat. If you survive. Which reminds me. I want to take this time to teach y'all the official Snake River Wolf Call. Now, repeat after me. Ah, uh, woo, woo! Ah, uh, woo, woo! What you think of that, Captain? I thought it was excellent. I agree. Now, that wolf call really comes in handy if you need to let me know you see something dangerous. If we encounter any outlaws, or worse, a giant snake, you gonna let you gonna let me hear that, right? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Now, we should be getting along here shortly. Uh, anybody here ever done any smuggling before? All clear. Oh, look at that. But, uh, yeah, anybody here done any smuggling before? You? What's your smuggle, partner? Oh, never mind. Oh, you're just pulling my leg? Oh, hilarious. But I warn you, smuggling is a very serious business now. Bye. All righty, folks. Go ahead and wave goodbye to your folks on the shore over there, because there's a good chance you might never see them again. Sorry, what was that? All right, well, Old Dempsey's Dynamite Factory. Old Dempsey's been around these parts longer than Trapper Dan, I reckon. And his hobbies is uh, taxidermy. That's what old kitty cat gets for gnawing on those sticks of dynamite. I don't know what's hey, worse, chewing or lighting up. Now, now, I understand it's a little empty right here, but I promise you we'll be seeing some uh, exquisite wildlife here shortly. Now, what might that be up ahead? Oh, folks, it's my cabin. Yeah, built that with my bare hands, all right. A lot of splinters. Not fun. What? Do you see that by the... Oh, dang, nabbit. Ah, folks, well, the good news is you get to see your first bit of wildlife today. The bad news is that is a live bear, and that's my house and my boat. Go on back to the woods, you get the overgrown fur ball. Well, that bear better not be there when I get back, otherwise, woo! At least that raccoon does my laundry. Come on. 
Well, folks, we hope we're going to treat you to some live music. But it looks like that corner has got a hold of the instruments. That's the third band that gets trampled by enough this week. Honestly. Oh, to your right is Adventure Island. All over the place to sell here and uh, maybe store a little bit of that treasure, you see? Oh, look at that bears right there. Remember that band that got trampled? Well, must have been a uh, swing band. <laughs> You know what? Not everybody gets it. That's all right. Oh, I almost forgot. That's my good friend, Flapjack Mickey. What he's cooking today? Oh, you know what? Flapjack, silly of me to ask. Say something for us, Flapjack. Extra bonus. I tell you, Flapjack and his family are always busy as beavers. You know? Because they're beavers. Honestly, folks, give me nothing to work with. Oh. You might want to patch up that dam right there. It looks like it's from a lake. Famous moonshine. Unfortunately, not a lot of that moonshine makes it out to deliver it. Because legally, you cannot sell damaged goods. And let's just say those raccoons have done a whole lot of damage in them. Yeah, you enjoy that moonshine, aren't you? But what those smirks off your far bases. What the? Oh, folks, real quick. TV can score some wild line and... Oh, I was hoping to catch a sample in the moonshine today. Real thirsty too. Now we gotta warn you, Seville is a lawless land full of real rub taps. But as long as we make the gold drop and get right on out of here, we should be good to go. Now, oh, now, that looks like one of ours up ahead. But just to be sure, let's go and do that wolf call for him. You remember the wolf call, right? Yep. All right, let's go and do it for him now. Ah, uh, woo! Uh, woo! Uh, woo! What do you know, he is one of us. Howdy, Fred, how are you today? I'm, I'm fine, how about you? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Y'all met my lovely crew? You got a mighty fine crew over there. There you go, partner. Thank you so much. How's the wildlife been treating you? Oh, you know, I think I got bit by a couple skaters every now and then. That's all. Oh, that but don't that I can't help, you know what I'm saying? Ah. Uh, well, at least one of us is enjoying that moonshine. <laughs> got a mighty fine crew over there. Any one of them ever? Sort of expedition? Uh, you know, if they did, I bet they wouldn't tell me, am I, am I right? Yeah, of course, of course. But I got a question for you, Fred. Sure. Uh, how has the river been today? Why, it's been slithering like snake skin. That's the password. Now, my friend over here... Hold it right there! All right, fight or flee, Buster. Do I have a third option? The third option is beat it. Okay. Okay. All right, folks, hands where okay. I can see them. This is the hold up. Come on, Open up this gate and let me in. Uh, but before I let you off on that, I gotta say, uh, my friend right here, he don't think you know the password, which is a bit of a prerequisite for wanting to get on board, but that's for man's opinion. All right, well, my apologies, friend in the front. Why this group has been sleeping like snake skin. No, I'm sorry, folks. Excuse me, Puck. This is sorry. Crabbit Man's not as smart as he thinks he is. All right, someone's got the gold. Let's play a little game. Bullfrogs. Chicken Frogs. Oh, Let's go get some Chicken Frogs. Bullfrogs. Chicken Feet. Chip Monks, too. Who's got the gold? I think it's you. I ain't got no gold. Well, whoever's got the gold better hand it over. I, I think someone. I play around. I think somebody should, should come forward with the gold. Oh, no, we believe you. We believe you. That's why, uh, you know, um, you, you wouldn't know where the gold is, would you? Really, I, I feel like you do, though. Hand and it over. I don't think she's playing around now. Come on, girl. I think you better do this. She's pretty scary looking to me, and I want to get this boat out of here, y'all, safely. Good choice. Good oh, that's in a fox's cavern hole. You best watch your back. Oh, really? Well, I'm not working alone. So you best watch your back. What you mean by that? You know exactly what I mean. Get her, boys. No, I, I, and get the ones in the front first. What? Oh, no. Folks, get your head down now. Get, your, get us out of here. Don't mean it, folks. Get your head down now. <laughs> Do we clear it? You think so? Let's check. Go. Uh, give me that wolf call for me. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right, then we can work with those numbers. And you know, I 
I apologize for the amount of pressure that must have been placed on you in that situation. Yeah, but the good news is that Fox being the cat, that oh, Fox flag, that flag right there means the cavalry has been sent down to Seville. Hopefully that means there won't be any outlaws trailing us anytime soon. And the, you know what? It's best to check on that dynamite. Probably a good idea to have it on board in the first place, you know? Well, you know what this feels like? Here, what does that feel like to you, partner? It's like gold! What do you know? The set! Hold on now, folks. Somebody ain't right about these parts. See, that gold should be out in the open right now. And where's Trapidan's crew? Oh, something ain't right here. Something is not right at all. Is it, Captain? Oh, no. Oh, why is it gotta be wolves? Looks like they're wolves gone. Trap it dead, secret mine entrance. All right now, folks, no sudden moves. Otherwise, those wolves could jump on here and have us for lunch. Oh, my leg, man. The wolves got my leg. I got a suit. Looks like Trap it dead left your present outlaw. Oh, yeah? Well, I've got the gold and I found the entrance to the secret mine. Our civilians are going to be rich. All right, you no good outlaw. Drop the bag. Forget it. This gold's mine. He's got the diamond! Shoot the iron house! I warned you, outlaw. And this one's for Trapper Dan. Woo! Ah! Now it's shooting, partner! Ooh, might not want to go in there for a while, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Woo -wee. What a day it has been. Agree? Absolutely. Well, lucky for us, just one little stretch of river up ahead and y'all are home free. Now, folks, I can't tell you what a pleasure it has been to have you as a crew. Oh, on your way out, don't forget to stop by our gift shop. They sell the best fish and trinkets in the area. I personally go for the fish, but that's just me. Now, hold on. What tarnation is that? You know, that's the true. Oh, folks, it's the basilisk. It must be, it must be 50 to 75 feet long. Oh, I don't know what it's going to do. It don't look that friendly, I got to say. What's it? What's it happening? Oh, it's moving. It's moving. As long as he don't spray it with his finger, though, it should be okay. Oh. oh. Well, he was mighty like that, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Now, as we approach the docks, make sure you sit tight, keep your knuckles inside the boat, and watch your step as you exit. Now, as you exit the boat, make sure you collect all personal belongings, and please do not swap any personal belongings with anything Look. off the boat. Alrighty y'all, take care. Alright everybody, as we approach the dock, please remain seated and prepare for some mild bumping, or as we like to call it, peer pressure. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, y'all laughing at that, but not a swing band? Okay, I see how it is. Who <laughs> here enjoyed themselves today? You, 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 you. Pretty reassuring, I must say. So we just got off the Snake River Expedition, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it ended up being an hour and a half wait. Was it worth an hour and a half? If you've never rode it before, I would go ahead and say yeah. It, it was a fun ride, but now that I've rode it, I probably wouldn't w wait more than half an hour for it. And just so you know, because we're already getting asked this, the whole family can ride Snake River Expedition, even small children. We took Eli on that and it was just fine, just put him in a carrier. And Kids really enjoyed it. Dylan loved it. He was clapping at the end. So he's been talking about going on that all day. Could not wait to go for a boat ride. We just got this amazing looking cherry cheesecake chimichanga from the Frontier Festival. Let's try that out. That's good. Yeah, that was really good. You didn't want any, did you? Should I go pick up another one of these? Oh man. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. It's delicious.
of fun out at Cedar Point, but it was definitely a very interesting day, that's for sure. Of course, we, we played the guessing game and won the bear, you saw that. But there was an audio failure for some reason, because we actually recorded the entire thing of playing the guessing game, and he guessed that it was 48, and then proceeded to say, where did he get all those wrinkles from? Huh? What wrinkles? But, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> Won the bear. But, of course, I kept talking about that all day. Because I'm like, I don't really look like I'm almost 50, right? I don't think so. Nobody's ever said that. Everybody always say, I look younger than I am. And they usually guess that I'm younger. And that's how I went at the guessing game. And he, he actually guessed that I was 12 years older than I actually am. So I we went to Frontier Festival and we were sampling stuff there. And you saw I got the, the cherry cheesecake thing. Amazing. But I wasn't thinking when we sat down at the picnic table to sample. And I took the bear, not this one, off of the stroller and set him on the table. So we finished eating, moved on to sample a couple other things throughout Frontier Festival. I didn't film those though, but we sampled a couple more things. In the span of about 30-40 minutes probably. And then all of a sudden Carmen looks at me and goes, Where's the bear? <laughs> I just went, Oh, oh. And... Went running back over to the picnic table where we were eating at because I remembered I had left him there on the picnic table. And of course he was already gone at that point and so I wasn't very happy about that. Carmen's like, you know, we can just get another bear. I'm like, oh, I'm not going through that again. I'm not playing that game again so somebody else can guess that I'm 12 years older than I actually am. So, <laughs> long story short, she ended up going over and playing the guessing game herself. Which the guy guessed that she was considerably younger than she actually is, so good for her. And won a second bear. So, this is bear number two. <laughs> but yeah, it was, a really great, it was a really great trip out to Cedar Point. Yeah, I wasn't busy at all. I got another ride on Gemini. Always a good ride. If you wonder why I'm always riding Gemini, I think I ride it almost every time I go out there. And sometimes, like this time... That was the only thing I rode uh, as far as a, a roller coaster because we also rode Snake River Expedition. But uh, that's the only roller coaster I rode was Gemini. The reason why is because most of the time it's got a five minute wait or just a walk on. And I'm all about that. And Gemini always gives, it still gives such a, such a great ride. And there's pretty good airtime on that thing. And it's a lot of fun, especially when there's no wait. And I'm all about that. So we also ate at the Mac Shack. That was our first time eating at the Mac Shack. It used to be Pink's. Pretty interesting ideas for mac and cheese. I would have never thought to put some of the stuff on there that you can at the Mac Shack. So we had we got the, a bowl of mac and cheese with barbecue sauce, pulled pork, and bacon and cheddar cheese, and it was it was pretty good. I mean, I'll say it wasn't anything to write home about. It was good. It's not something I'm going to get on a regular basis, probably not somewhere I, I'll go to eat often, but not bad. So that's going to do it for me. I'm going to head out of here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below. And if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.